Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Let's Play Minecraft. Thank you so much, as always, for all of your wonderful support you guys have been showing the series so far. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue supporting the series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But as always, if you do want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks, or at the time of this video being made, to get 10% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, in the last episode, we got ourselves a brand new Minecraft family, my friendos. We've got a small family of cats, a nice breeding pair of parrots, and a nice breeding pair of doggos. And yeah, eventually, it'll be a very nice idea for us to go ahead and make a bit of a pet sanctuary or something like that. Somewhere where we can breed these guys up and just have them proudly on display. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gents. We need names for every single creature we've got here so far. All seven of them. So, so, you guys know what to do, head down to the comments area, get your creative caps on, and come up with some epic names for our pets. For now though, ladies and gentlemen, we are preparing ourselves for a bit of a journey. A journey underground. That is right. Today is Diamond Day, and this is why we need to go for a bit of a mining trip, not only because there's a blank space here in terms of diamonds, but also because we have a blank space here in terms of coal. Um, what we do have though, is a creeper at the window. He ain't ever getting in. Oh no, I've got a family to care for now. We need to do an even better job than normal in terms of keeping this house up and running. Alrighty, got a little bit of wood going on here so we can make torches as we go. And to be honest, I think we're just about ready to get this thing going. So then, the great descent begins. And we're gonna go all the way down here. And hopefully we'll be able to find ourselves a whopping great amount of resources, my friendos, because we really, really need it. We're on episode four, we haven't got any diamonds yet, we've got a very limited supply of coal. In fact, we've got a very limited supply of just about every resource going. We need to do something about that. So check it out, there's lapis going on, there's gold going on, there's a lot of cool stuff going on actually, but what we don't have going on for us right now is a safe way down. So I'm going to go ahead and rectify that by doing exactly that. Make a nice safe way down. I'll even put a torch next to it so we can't possibly lose this location, all right? So we're just going to jump on down and basically hope for the best. I say that because there are rather a lot of guys down here. Oh my goodness me. It is quite populated down here, I assure you. I'm so glad this isn't an ultra hardcore series because I would be pooping myself right about now. But even still, I'm still trying to just sort of leg it away from everybody. <laughs> because I just don't want to be dealing with them. What I do want to be dealing with is this. You see it? Smooth basalt? There is only one thing that is encased in basalt. And that is one of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even expected to find this today. But here we are, my friendos. We have our first geode of the series. And quite possibly the first geode I found in the 1.18 terrain. Now, the reason I say that is because in 1.17, they were actually way, way easier to find. Because you could simply go to the bottom of the ocean and find them there. I'll tell you what else we could find. Diamonds! Oh snap, we found our first diamond ore of the series. Oh snappers. And since we're trying to do the whole keeping a history of our world thing in this series, we need to try to keep that diamond separate from all the rest of them, right? We need to keep it separate so we can go ahead and put it up on an item frame and just... Oh! Oh! Uh... Huh. Okay. Well, that's what you get for not paying attention to your surroundings, huh? Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, another diamond ore. Very cool. All right, there we are. The one diamond. Um, any advances on one? Yeah, I knew there was going to be another one. Right, so I'm going to put the first diamond on the floor there, and that's going to be our second one. Uh, even though they're going to wind up. Uh, okay, let's just pretend that that one there is the first diamond, all right? We're just going to have to pretend. I mean, obviously, if I had my anvil on me right now, I could have gone ahead and, you know, immediately renamed our first diamond. But, um, 
That would involve me going ahead and being organized. So while we're down here, we might as well go ahead and grab ourselves a bunch of the other ores that exist down here. Maybe some redstone, maybe some gold, all that kind of good stuff. It's all stuff that we're probably going to wind up using at some point or another. Oh, hey there, buddy. Cool. You're dead, and my reward is diamonds. Wait, is that another diamond ore? I think it- Ah! Oh my goodness, that actually nearly killed me. <laughs> oh, wow! I always forget how deadly zombies are with swords. Look at this. This ain't deadly, is it? It's another diamond. Oh, wow. Well, isn't this a turn up? Hey, another diamond ore. Oh, goodness me. Nope, nope, nope. Um... Oh, I was just going to say, please don't blow up that diamond. I would have been actually kind of annoyed. All right, let's grab this diamondo. Is it just one? Why are veins of one so common? Uh, always worth going ahead and digging around because sometimes there might just be another diamond that might be diagonal that was hidden or something. But sadly, not on this occasion. There is, in fact, another diamond over there, though, so that's not too bad. All right, well, we might as well go ahead and grab this little diamond, though. Oh, no, hang on. We've got a second one. And he advances on two. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me more than two. No. Ah, that's got to be it, is it? I mean, it's not like we're not at diamond level or anything. We should be able to find a whole bunch more diamonds if we go looking. It shouldn't take that long either. I mean, we're way below Y0. In fact, we're at Y negative 49. For those of you guys unaware, the further down you go in your Minecraft world in 1.18, the higher chance of finding diamonds you'll have. And would you look at that? There's a little bit right there. Oh, okay. Well, we've got another one. I feel like there's going to be more sort of buried up there. Eh, okay. No more buried up here, sadly. Ah, uh, bit sad, but ah, uh, well. I just realized something, guys. We had that geode, right? We should have picked up some shards, gone back to base, and used it with the copper to make a spyglass. And then we'd be able to have a bit of a look around a bit better, right? All right, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to try and head our way back to that geode and see if we can't get ourselves some shardy boys. Hey, bud, how's it hanging? How's it hanging? You're slightly dead. Something else we should probably consider is getting more coal. We are very low on our supply of torches right now. So, yeah, maybe a bit of a pit stop, eh? You see, it's times like this, though. I really wish I had fortune because getting coal would be way easier, man. All right, well, here we are back at the geode and... Oh, hey, a dungeon. Ah, <laughs> cool. It's a skeleton dungeon as well. Well, that's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, not bad at all. A geode and a spawner. I'm envisioning us going ahead and sort of molding this room into a kill chamber. And then we could have the skeleton farm kill chamber inside the geode. Right? I mean, I'm not the only one thinking that that's a cool idea, right? It's something I've never done before. All right, well, we might as well go ahead and check out the chest here. Oh, look, a golden apple. Very cool. All right, we've got some more redstone. A mere two bits of gold. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. But uh, yeah, not too bad, my friends. More so, I'm glad of the fact that it's a skeleton dungeon because it means we can get ourselves a supply of bones. And as you guys know, I do like having a supply of bones because it means we can get ourselves a supply of bone meal and start bone mealing the ground and getting some nature going. Yeah. And yeah, I know, I know. Some of you guys will probably be saying, well, Python, why are you wasting your durability on mossy cobblestone? Well, I'll tell you why. Because mossy cobblestone is probably one of my favorite resources in the game to build with. I mean, you can make any build look overgrown just by simply adding a little bit of moss. And either way, it doesn't really matter because I've got a small supply of iron back at base. So don't worry your pretty little faces about a single thing. Oh yeah, let's not forget about our little shark boys. There we are. We've got four. We've got eight. Okay, very cool. Twelve. We've got... Is that a fully formed one? I don't think it is. Uh, that one is. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, we've got one up here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Thank you very much indeedy. And probably this one too, right? Yes. Very cool. Oh, don't think I didn't see you there, son. <laughs> Another diamond for your boy. Very cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and mine it. And um, there's gold directly behind. Oh, what? Wow. Gold and diamonds together. Well, that's pretty rare, I think. Huh. Yeah, pretty awesome, huh? Ah! 
Oh, goodness me! My poor health! My poor health! No, no, no! <laughs> Wow, I thought I could take down those two skeletons with a little bit more ease than that. Um, yeah, that got a little bit too close for comfort there. All right, well, we might as well keep going until our iron pickaxe here has run out. And, well, we're using the iron pickaxe to get even more iron. I think that that is a good idea. Wow, though. Lost caves, man. Oh, I don't think I will ever stop gushing over how beautiful the lush caves look in this game. Because they just do. They look absolutely marvellous, don't they? You know what I'm going to grab while I'm down here? A little bit of glow lichen, simply because we haven't grabbed any yet. And it could prove to be a nice little addition to our building collection. And again, being able to go ahead and make things look overgrown. The good news, of course, is the fact that glow lichen is indeed renewable. So we don't have to worry about none of that nonsense. It running out. You simply go ahead and bone meal it on some cobblestone or whatever. And you got yourself some more glow glow lichen. So even just the four we've got here should be more than enough to start ourselves a little glow lichen empire. Yes, that is right. A glow lichen empire. Have you ever heard of anyone talking about making a glow lichen empire? Huh? Ah, darn it. You couldn't have lasted until that last little ore there, huh? Ah, well. All right, let's get back up to base and let's have ourselves a pit stop. A and that's the wrong water source I swam up. Well, what a dummy I am, huh? I mean, you'd have thought that me putting up a torch at the top of the correct water source might have been enough for me to, you know, not make a mistake in terms of coming back the wrong way. But, uh, yeah. It is me, guys. It is me. <laughs> Hey guys, check it out. The good thing about vines is they grow. And when they grow, you can then use them to climb up anything. So, yeah. <laughs> we can now get out of this ginormous cave with absolute ease. Ah, but then I climbed up the wrong side. I, I should be over that end, not the jungle end. Ah, good job, Python. Your navigational skills really are coming into their own today. As in, they're terrible today. <laughs> There we are. Home sweet home. Let's organize stuffs and get right back out there. There we are. The first diamond alongside the first axe and pickaxe. All right. Very, very cool. All right. Real quick. Let's go ahead and see what exactly we can make with all of the various things we have here. So there we are. We've got the spyglass. Yeah, baby. Now things are starting to hot up in the series, huh? <laughs> I do love having a spyglass. There is one thing I do wish they would do in Minecraft, and that is give, like, a dedicated slot for the spyglass. Maybe it could be on the right-hand side of your hot bar there. The left-hand side, of course, is taken up by the shield, and the right-hand side could be the spyglass. And then you just press a certain key, and then away you go. Just a nice, simple quality of life change could make life in Minecraft way, way easier, huh? All right, I'm just about fueled up and ready to get back down there. But what we need to do before going too deep in the world is get ourselves some more coal. I really need coal, dudes. There's some little tidbits of coal all over the place, but nothing that looks that substantial, really. I mean, this one's got gravel on top of it as well. Is there coal hidden in the gravel? Ooh, looks like there might be a few bits in here. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Ha <laughs> Oh, look, even more axolotls. Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> I honestly can't get over how adorable they are, dudes. Like, look at this dude. All right. Let there be light. Oof. There we are. Uh, oh, there's an enderman down there. Well, okay. As long as I don't look at him, we should be fine. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Again, I'm so glad this isn't a hardcore let's play because I probably would have been scared to death. <laughs> more iron, more coal. All of these things are going to be useful. Oh, can I can I reach that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, more spore blossoms. All right, so I've got another area to explore in terms of the deep slate level. Oh, hello there, bud. How's it hanging, huh? Would you like to die? Well, I mean, he died before I got to finish that sentence, so unfortunately, he had absolutely zero time to decide. But I hope he enjoyed his death. Ah, yes, more coal. <laughs> like, right now, I'm genuinely getting excited about finding coal just as much as I would get excited about finding diamonds. <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you guys ever seen someone who got this excited about finding coal, eh? So then, Minecraft, what have you got to chuck at me while I'm down here, huh? We've got copper. We've got iron. Okay, very cool. I mean, to be honest, just more diamonds and valuables in general will go quite a long way, I'd say. Grab a whole bunch of this stuff here. Grab a whole bunch of stuff right. Ow! Who did that? Who did it? You did it, huh? You did it. There you go. That's what you get. You don't get to do that anymore, son. Hey, guys, talking of iron, you know what I'd really like to find? I'd really like to find one of those ginormous iron veins that has the tuff sort of intertwined with it. So if we manage to find ourselves a large quantity of tuff stone, we need to go ahead and see if it's sort of laced with a whole bunch of iron as well. There's an abandoned mine shaft. There's so much to explore. There's so much to explore. There's iron all over the place. This is brilliant. Even behind lapis, there's even more iron. <laughs> It really is just everywhere, isn't it? Goodness me, though. There's so much stuff to collect down. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't fall down that. That would have been a bit bad, huh? There could have been any number of things down there. There could have been like 10 creepers all waiting in a circle around where I might drop down. And they might have all blown me up into oblivion. No, no, no. If I'm going to go down there, I'm going to do it well, as safely as I can. That probably wasn't as safe as I could make it, but we survived, right? I tell you what, since 1.17, they sure have buffed the amount of lapis you can find in the world. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous now. Imagine, though, if we had fortune and I was gathering all of the lapis that I found so far. I probably legit would have had, like, 20 stacks by now. It's ridiculous. Oh, hello. There's another spawner. We found two dungeons in one episode. <laughs> I mean, I know that they made the dungeon count a little bit more when you're below Y0, but, I mean, we found two dungeons so far. This is awesome. What do we have? A bunch of iron, a bunch of bones. All right. This actually isn't too bad. Some more buckets. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. No. This is my loot there, son. My loot. All right, what have we got on this one? Uh, yay, our first name tag. We can actually name one of our pets now. Whoa. Look at this area. Oh, man, I really wish I had night vision right now. There is a ginormous area here, my friends. And there's rather a lot of mine shaft around here as well. <laughs> wow. There's even a spawner right there, which I should definitely be careful of. Uh, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. It's nightmare fuel. It's nightmare fuel. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> There's so many baddies here. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys, man. I don't want this. I'm going to run away. Whoosh. Okay, we're just about fine now, ladies and gents. So let's go ahead and get our... Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm starting to feel... Like, what we should be doing is preserving our life and getting out of here. That may not actually be a bad idea. I won't even lie at this point. <laughs> oh, 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 close calls all over the place, my friend. Just got to be nice and careful. Oh, another area of the caves. Wow. I always can't get over just how big the caves are nowadays. Like, I don't actually think it is possible to find the so-called end of a cave because there's just always more to explore. Well, I don't know about you guys, though. I'm actually really enjoying this caving session so far. It really isn't often at all I do just bog-standard old-fashioned caving episodes. So let me know if this is something that you guys might want to see a little bit more of in the future, because I would be more than happy to do more caving episodes if that is something that you guys might enjoy watching. I mean, we've had a lot of close calls today, my friendos, but we've also had... A good amount of rewards, haven't we, really? Talking of rewards, though, one thing we have not found so far is a minecart chest. We need to fix that. Come on. I want to find at least one before I call this little exploration caving session complete. We need something to go home with. And I will find one. I am determined. When I'm a determined Pythonator, oh, nothing is going to stop me. No, absolutely nothing. Not even death. Although death might, you know, delay my objectives. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess since we have a mineshaft as well, we might as 
well go ahead and grab some cobwebs. I mean, nice and building. When you pop them above a chimney, they kind of look like smoke from a distance. I mean, obviously, we've got campfires nowadays to make, you know, actual chimneys. But if you don't have the resources to make a chimney, then maybe you use cobweb instead. Oh, interesting. All right, so we've got a massive bulk of cobweb over there, which, of course, is covering up a cave spider spawner. But, and here's the big but, there is, in fact, a another large load of cobweb just over here. Oh, I wonder if these are within spawnable range of each other. My initial answer would be yes, I do believe they are. So what I may do here, actually, is take down my coordinates. So what, 90, negative 15? We could potentially make ourselves a double cave spider spawner XP farm string farm kind of dealio, right? Oh, dude, we've got plans. We've got loads of episode plans coming in. <laughs> That's what I love about going caving for the first time and you start exploring and discovering things for the first time. You can go ahead and start coming up with episode and project ideas just from what you're able to find. For example, we've got that geode and the skeleton dungeon right next to each other. We could use the geode as the kill chamber for the eventual skeleton farm. And of course, we've got the opportunity to make ourselves a jewel cave spider farm as well. I mean, come on! We've got lots of things that we can do, my friends. So yeah, that's why I really do love caving episodes. Obviously, some episodes here and there, you may wind up with a little bit of a dry patch. Maybe you don't find anything at all. Maybe not even diamonds. But you still go ahead and explore just for the sake of it. Hello? Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, oh! There's only one thing to do at a time like this! Get in water! Oh goodness me! Okay, uh... Oh! Goodness me! <laughs> Woohoo! Well, well, well! This is a bit of a turn up, isn't it, Minecraft? You're really trying to kill me now. But I prevailed, so, you know, suck on that. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this dude! Oh, there he is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there he is. Little fishy. <laughs> What's he doing? Mate, you need to go find a proper place to swim in. This isn't very good. I mean, it does look like fun, though. I want to do it. Yay! I'm having fun with the fish now. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. I like this. Yeah, me and the fishy. We're having a good time swimming in this waterfall. Oh, dude! Um, ah. Uh. You see, what I think happened there, ladies and gentlemen, let me just run you through what just happened there. What happened there is I was having fun in the waterfall, and the little tropical fish in the waterfall decided, oh no, I don't want you in my waterfall. And he pushed me out to my death. My goodness, I can't believe it. I am absolutely disgusted right now. How could a fish do that to me? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where's my stuff, man? Oh, here we are. Yeah, I found everything. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, uh, can we get everything before it despawns and or we get absolutely ruined? Oh, no, you do not, sir. No, 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 <laughs> no. You know what? You can blow up, but you ain't taking nothing with you. All right, I think we've got just about everything back. Good. Good. I would have been kind of sad if we actually lost anything there. But thankfully, I don't think we did. I think we're totally fine. Oh! 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 Oh, and now it's raining tropical fish. <laughs> well, well, well. That didn't work out very well for you, did it there, son? Yeah, that tropical fish tried to hire reinforcements. And what happened instead is they all fell to their own deaths. I imagine what happened is what happened to me. They pushed each other out of the waterfall. <laughs> uh, what is it they say? Good things come to those who wait. Well, in this case, four things came to those who wait. Me, four fish came down and killed themselves. So yeah, I didn't have to do it. Good oh. All right, so that little fishy misadventure kind of tells me that what we may want to do right now is actually go home. So do you know what? I think that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do. However, on the way out, as we start to get nearer the top, we can always pick up some more coal as well, right? Well, I sure am going to miss having those 30 levels, but I tell you what, we should be able to get back up there with absolute ease. Once we start getting ourselves access to the nether... I think is when we start to get XP coming out the wazoo. Okay. So about five seconds ago, there were no skeleton sounds and suddenly there's multiple. Um, something tells me. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, dude. No way, dude. And I thought finding that 
that skeleton dungeon down the bottom end of the world was good. <laughs> this is right at the surface. Uh-oh, that's not good, though. My shield just expired. Ah, got to be careful, my friendos. Yeah. Well, all right, well, there's me looking for coal at the surface. We bump across our third dungeon for the episode. Good things come in threes, huh? Fantastic, man. <laughs> Imagine if that double cave spider spawner was three spawners instead, though. But you know what? A double cave spider spawner is still pretty dang special, if you ask me. All right, two chests. What do we have here? We've got some more bread, rotten flesh, and, well, not a great deal of anything, aside from another bucket and piece of horse armor. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, in this one, we've got another CD, but again, it's a duplicate. I wouldn't mind a different CD. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Gunpowder, some more bread, string, and another bone. So let's go ahead and take down the coordinates of this one. 33, negative 167. And this is pretty much right near our base as well. The question is, which one do we make into a spawner farm? The one that's near the surface or the one that has the geode next to it? Let me know in the comments area below what you think I should do. The geode skeleton farm or the home skeleton farm? Because, yeah, my home is literally here and the skeleton dungeon is, like, literally down there. That's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> All right, let's go to sleep real quick. Say hello to the family again. And there we have it. All is well. I'm back home. I mean, yeah, I did die, but, you know, you know, it is what it is. We still came out on top. All right, well, there we are, just under a stack of iron and a little bit of copper that we managed to get as well. All right, very, very cool. We got a small rudimentary supply of coal again, which is great, and honestly, once we do get ourselves fortune, things are gonna be so much easier. Do you know what? Since we're going ahead and keeping tabs on the history of our world, you know what we should do? We should create like a death museum or maybe like a morgue or something. And then we display on item frames what killed us on each occasion. So on our first occasion here, we were killed by a tropical fish pushing us out of a waterfall. So, yeah, we put this guy in an item frame and we give him, like, an infamous name. What that name is right now, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, again, you guys could come up with that in the comments area down below. But, yeah, we need, like, an infamous sounding name for this tropical fish because he did kill me and I'm not going to forget that. All right, all that's left to do now is to actually get ourselves some diamond upgrades. We could get ourselves a pickaxe, a sword, and even a shovel if we really wanted to and still have a few left over for an enchant table. Yeah, all right. Now we're starting to get somewhere, huh? And of course, the other thing to do just before ending off today's episode is the comment of the day. We've got my boy Wattles who says, do you actually want pythons added to Minecraft that spawn continuously while you're in the desert by him and attack you? Or does your name come from something else? To answer your question directly, um, maybe. I kind of like having a little bit of a challenge in the desert biome. I mean, obviously, surviving just in a desert biome is kind of challenging by itself. And yeah, you do get husks that spawn and give you a bunch of hunger debuffs, right? But I still feel like the biome itself is kind of easy to survive in, in terms of monsters. There needs to be more new hostile mobs in the game, my friends. Not just reskins of zombies. Husks. Strays, they're just reskins, aren't they? But in terms of where my name comes from, Python, it actually comes from my favorite gun that I used in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 way back in 2010. The Python was a kind of revolver gun and it was my favorite weapon to use on there because it was just the most fun. It really, really was. So for any of you guys who have been thinking, oh, hey, Python named himself after a snake or after the programming language also called Python, Nope. It's, it's just my favorite gun in Black Ops 1. And I know what you guys are thinking as well. This is a PG channel, but the name is based on something that's not so PG. Yeah. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But then again, when have I made sense? So there you have it, my friends. The true origins of the Python name. So then, we set out to get diamonds. We got plenty of them. We set out to get a bunch of resources. We got plenty of them. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to call this episode successful, aside from the death due to the fish. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty happy about everything we've done today. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you have enjoyed today's episode and you haven't already, I'd very much appreciate it, of course, if you guys would head down below the video and spread us 
second to drop a like. It really does help out myself, the video, and the channel massively when you do that. Be sure, of course, to hit the subscribe button with those bell notifications turned on if you don't want to miss out on my future episodes. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.